I'm back. Um, I wanted to come on and do a review on the crochet brace that I've installed. Um, I wanted something, I wanted a crochet style, but I wanted something where I didn't have to worry about the tangling hair and the, um, just hair sticking to everything and just feeling rough. I, I just wanted a break from that for a little while. So I decided to do some twist braids and I chose the Deja Vu braids. Well, they're, they're called twist braids. And um, here's the little card stuff that was on the inside. Um, it's called Deja Vu. And I used um, a combination of number four and a, a 27. No, a number four and a 27. Um, in all, I used five bags of the number four. I used five bags of the number four and one bag of 27 because I just put like a few here and there. I did not use a whole lot. Of, I didn't even use all of the that one bag of the 27. Um, I had some left over because I just, I didn't want to overpower, you know, and have too much color in there. So I just added a few pieces. Um, on the packaging, it does not say the length. Um, but I think I have the longer length that they sell. They have a length that's shorter than this and they just came out with like a 12 inch. Um, so I'm assuming this may be about an 18 and then they have a 14 and now a 12 inch. So, um, for a younger child, I would say just buy the 12 inch, but if you're going to do it on your head an adult, the 18 inch, I feel like would do a little bit better. Um, one thing that I do not like about the um, 18 inch is how like stacked and chopped up looking that it looks towards the end because of course the hair that's in the back is going to go down longer and the higher up you come with the braids, the more and more they come up. So then you end up, it, it just looks kind of ratty to me but hey my hair is done so I'm just gonna leave it at that it's done okay um but that's the that's one of the things that I do not like about having the single lease braids or the twist braids is how it just looks so choppy um when you finish and you can't really cut it because if you start cutting at it it, it will unravel so you just have to leave it alone um, I have used this hair before on my daughter's head and um, I tried to curl it. It did not work. It curled, but then the curls were dropping like that next day. So I don't think I'm going to try to or attempt to curl this hair. Um, if I do, I may just pull out a few and just sample it and see how it works. And if it works well, I may curl all, you know, just put a little curl on the end so it will look so I don't know ready like but um I've enjoyed it so far it is a true get up and go hairstyle you don't have to worry about this hair you just get up walking out the door and going by your life okay when you have the hair in like the chemo braid or the free tress with all the different kind of texture styles you have to kind of work with that hair. You have to go through, cut these little uh, tangles out and all of that. With this, it is purely get up and go. So that's what I was looking for. And that was my aim. So I went with um, these braids. Like I said, it's Deja Vu. Um, I have in my head a number four and 27. And um, I think it's the 18 inch. So let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something out there that I need to try. Um, I know I did see another brand with Kima Braid hair, not Kima Braid, Ocean Wave. And their Ocean Wave hair was heat resistant. Um, I probably would never use heat on it actually, but when it's heat resistant 
that means that the hair is like a little bit a little bit better quality and it will probably last longer you probably go a little longer without it tangling so I will be trying that hair um, maybe a little a few weeks from now I may try that hair and I will do a review on it and let you guys know how it turned out so thank you all for subscribing thank you for my new subscribers and I will continue putting on videos um, whenever I try something new, something that I have not done before. So, um, thank you guys for stopping by. Bye.